Uh, yes, it's that time again. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a Pusa Thursday, and you are watching the Cracker Dawn Show right here on Attenville TV. Guys, welcome to the Cracker Dawn Show. I'm your host, Kimara Hirlal. I'll be keeping you company for the next hour or so, right here on Attenville TV. If you are watching this for the very first time, please do like, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can click on the bell icon so that it'll notify you whenever we're streaming live. Well, today our show, we're very jam packed show for you guys. Uh, but before we do, we want to give you guys a bit of a big alert. Well, well, well. A major alert as to what's happening here in, well, we'll say in Benoni. Now, there was a bit of a robbery thing happening here in Lakeside, uh, Lakeside Mall. Uh, a crossover got robbed, guys. Uh, oof. This was, this, this was a bit of a bad one, but what I'm happy about is that they have caught the people that robbed a uh, uh, crossover. Check this out. That was crazy, I tell you, but uh, I'm just happy these guys got caught. I mean, look at this. Crossover, guys, we could have gotten sponsored clothing from Crossover. Now these people come and rob them in the mall. But hey, they were caught, so I'm, I'm quite happy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So this is going to be a jab bag show. This is still the intro of the show, so don't go near it. We'll come back straight after this. Welcome back, guys. If you just join us, you are live with us on Attenville TV. This is the Cracker Down Show with myself, Kim Anna Hiro, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details, which you'll find at the bottom right of your screen. Right there. Can you see it? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Guys, this is a jam-packed show. It's all about tattooing today. And a uh, very, very good morning to Ramashni Padachi right here on the YouTube channel. She says, good morning. Good morning, honey. Okay, Ramashni. Me, do you have any tattoos? Interact with us in studio today. Contact details right there. You can comment at the bottom of the screen, and we're going to talk about everything there is to know about tattooing today. Now, I mean, guys, I don't personally have a tattoo, but I have piercings everywhere. <laughs> Alright, but today's topic of conversation is about tattooing and uh, well, we've, uh, we've come to, to well a decision that tattooing is a form of body modifications. I mean, if you look at it, um, 
uh, it, it's it, it's basically people inserting ink in, inside uh, layers of the skin. Now uh, you could you could either it, it it could either be temporary. People get those temporary t- tattoos, that you, those ones that you stick on with water. I don't know if you guys have ever tried that in school. It comes in a chappy, and you stick it on your arm. You get a wet cloth or wet sponge or something wet to make it smear off the sticker, and it goes onto your skin. Temporary tats, guys. Uh, you can just get get with get with the scene. Go to your Halloween parties, or you want to be a, a pop, punk rocker just for a day or two. You can get uh, those those kind of tattoos. Romashni coming in on YouTube saying no, I don't. Romashni, if you had a choice, would you get a tattoo? Let, let's leave out our parents out of this conversation. If you were able to have a choice of your own. Would you get a tattoo? If yes, what would it be and why? Let's let, let's find out about that. I'd like to know from you guys about tattoos. But um, uh, we've got a little bit of uh, a piece of information before I go into the whole history and uh, what tattoos are about. Why don't you guys check out what we've taken a look at and we put these things together just for you to look at. And um, yeah, let's learn about tattoos. What do former President Teddy Roosevelt and rapper Lil Wayne have in common? They both have gotten tatted up. Surprised? Don't be. Teddy isn't the only historical figure to have had his body inked. Winston Churchill, George Orwell, King Harold II, and even Republican Congressman Barry Goldwater all had tats. Granted, Roosevelt's family crest chest piece is more conservative than the assortment of tattoos Lil Wayne sports on his face. However, it goes on to show that tattoos go beyond showing rebellion and status. They're also a form of artistic expression and remembrance. The practice of tattooing goes back thousands of years. The over 5,000-year-old mummified body of Otzi the Iceman shows 61 permanent markings that are suspected to be the result of acupuncture treatment. Now, that's not to say tattoos originated from communities around the Otzdal Alps, where Otzi was found, or that all tattoos in ancient times were linked to medical procedures. Many civilizations across history had different versions of body modifications that involved inking skin, and each of them attributed different meanings to the practice, but we'll get more into that later. So, which civilizations practiced tattooing? How did it spread? And what did people use to get inked before the tattoo gun was invented? Lots of questions, lots of things behind tattooing, lots of meaning behind it, but don't go anywhere. We're gonna be, we're gonna take a little break and when we come back, we'll discuss a little bit of its history, where it comes from, and each person's different well uh well opinion of tattooing and, and meanings behind it. We'll come back straight after this. The rich taste that says you've arrived. Living a life of illusion, leaving your finances on the rocks. In this world of Bazotina Band, do you want a bank that takes your money or a bank that takes your money seriously? Welcome back, guys. If you just joined us, you're all live with us on Atten Bull TV. This is the Crack It Down Show with myself, Kimera Hidalal, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details that you'll find at the bottom right of your screen. Now, today we're talking about tattoos, baby. Uh, I want to get one. I want to get one right here. It was so cool with my name on it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. No, just kidding, guys. All right, so so getting back to tattoos. Tattoos is, a, well, tattoo artists create these designs using different and several tattooing processes and techniques. Now, there are different ways of getting yourself a chap. Well, that's that slang, right, for tattoos. Now, including hand tap traditional tattoos and modern tattoo machines, which you guys know of, which you see in the mall uh, every single day. Um, there, there's also the history of tattooing, which goes back, way back, um, uh, to the Neolithic times. And uh, also practiced across the, the entire globe by many different types of cultures. And uh, uh, the, the, this, this also, the symbolism and the impact of tattoos varies in different places and different cultures. Now, as we go along with the show, we're going to show you guys a bit of ancient history and a, a lovely old lady who's still alive and well, uh, try, trying to carry on her traditions and her ways uh, of tattooing in life. Uh, just, just have a look at what she has to show you. The history and origins of tattoos. Otzi the Iceman has the world's oldest preserved tattoos. 
But as we were saying, they didn't seem to be done for artistic or religious reasons. See, Otsi's tattoos are simple. Most of them just lines, but they're placed in parts of the body that are easily exhausted, like the knees and lower back, which suggests they may have been done for healing purposes. According to a report published in the Journal of Archaeological Science back in 2015, the tattoos on Otsi were made by cutting the skin open and rubbing charcoal in the wounds. Before Utsi was confirmed as carrying the oldest preserved tattoos to date, it was a mummy from the Chinchorro culture in South America that was believed to hold that title. The man was found in the region of Araga in Chile, and is believed to have been about 35 to 45 years old when he died and lived in around 4000 BC. His tat? A series of black dots above his upper lip that gave the appearance of a thin mustache. The meaning of these markings remains a mystery, as not all mummies recovered from the site had tattoos like his. In 2016, tattoos on another mummy were found, this time in Egypt. According to the scientific journal Nature, bioarchaeologist Anne Austin of Stanford University in California was analyzing mummies in Cairo when she noticed some markings on one of their necks. She then used infrared tools to further examine the mummy and found more than 30 tattoos. The body had lotus blossoms on her hips, baboons on her neck, and cows on her arm. Scientists believe these pieces had religious significance, as the cows are related to the Egyptian goddess Hathor, goddess of happiness, fertility, celebration, and love. The oldest figurative tattoos were found in 2018 on the bodies of two Egyptian mummies. One of the bodies was male and the other female. The male mummy has a wild bull and a Barbary sheep, while the woman has S-shaped designs on her right shoulder that could represent batons used in ritualistic dancing. However, it wasn't just Egyptians who were getting tatted up. Ancient Chinese, Britons, Greeks, and Romans also practiced this form of body modification. But the people most famously known for tattooing were the Austronesian-speaking peoples. These people live in Taiwan, Southeast Asia, Oceania, Hawaii, and Madagascar. Captain James Cook was one of the first outsiders to see the tattoos placed on the Tahitians he encountered during his travels. In fact, the word itself, tattoo, comes from the Samoan word tatau, which means to hit or strike, in reference to how these markings were placed on the skin. Indigenous people from these areas developed the earliest methods of tattooing, using a makeshift mallet along with sharp needle-like objects to inject ink under the skin, such as thorns, fish bones, oyster shells, and human bones. The ink was made of a mix of a dark liquid, like charcoal or soot, combined with another liquid like sugarcane juice to give it a shiny finish. Although ancient, these methods are still being kept alive by some communities around the world. Meet Wang Ad. She's 102 years old, and she's the last Mamba Batok, the last tattoo artist of the Philippine Kalinga ethnic group who practices traditional tattooing techniques. Wang Ad has been tattooing since she was 15 years old, using a mallet from a coffee or bamboo tree and thorns from pomelo, calamansi, or lemon trees. Wang Ad taps away into her canvas's skin, creating motifs representing strength, protection, health, among many other meanings. Before their tattoos became popular, only but but men who brought back the severed heads of enemy warriors that threatened their village would get tattoos as a reward for their bravery. Wang Ad doesn't want this tradition to die with her. And although she didn't have children of her own, she has been mentoring her grandniece, Grace Palikas, teaching her the thousand-year-old technique of Kalinga tattooing. Nowadays, travelers visit Wang Ad in the northern Philippines in the hopes of having a chance of getting one of her famous tattoos. Origins of tattoos in ancient culture, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you have a tattoo, interact with us in studio today. Let us know what was the reason you had to ink yourself. You had to find some something so important to you that you had to actually tattoo it on your body, knowing that you can have this for life. Now, interact with us in studio today. Contact details right there. You can comment at the bottom of the screen as we are live right here on Attenable TV. Now, if you look at it, guys. Um, 
uh, tattoos, tattoos can maybe like a decorative uh, substance or decorative thing that w- it w- it sometimes has no specific meaning. Now, um, it's it's sometimes symbolic to something or something close to you or something special which you had or which you lost or which you experienced. But uh, let's talk about that when we come back uh, straight after this commercial break. For the ones we trust to always be there. For the ones caring for others. For the ones who keep going no matter where they are. In extraordinary times, extraordinary people step up and tackle the big things and the little things that matter. For the ones making sacrifices, standing guard, and standing on the front lines, we're grateful for all you do, and we're always here to help you do it. For the ones who get it done. Welcome back, guys. If you just joined us, you're on live with us on Atten Bull TV. This is the Cracker Dawn Show with myself, Kimera Hidalal, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details, which you'll find at the bottom right of your screen. All right, so today we're talking about tattooing and uh, happy Pusa Thursday to those of you who haven't, uh, <laughs> who haven't interacted with us in studio today but are watching the show. Today we're talking about tattoos. Uh, we spoke about the origins of tattoos and ancient cultures. We also spoke spoke about some people just tattooing themselves for no specific or significant reason. Now, um, they, they are, like I said, there was, there, there's, 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 some tattoos may be decorative and have no specific or symbolic meaning. Some people have them on their bodies because it's symbolic and it symbolizes something. You get a lot of people who are cultural and spiritual and they have um, maybe I should get the own sign since I'm Hindu, you know. But uh, a lot of people tattoo themselves and uh, ink themselves for, for, for personal reasons. Now, if you want to interact with us, please do in studio, as you know, at the bottom of the screen. All right, so so today people choose to be tattooed for, for artistic reasons, cosmetic reasons. Um, you also get sentimental and memorial reasons, um, religious reasons, as we've mentioned before, and a spiritual reason. Now, to, to symbolize their belonging to or identification, with other particular groups. Um, you also get uh, those type of people who come from tribal uh, places. They, ha- they belong to some specific tribe, so they need to be marked. I find this quite intriguing, also quite interesting. <laughs> I fi- at first, I found it disturbing until I read about it, why people actually need to do these things and um, why people need to belong to a certain way, certain symbol, certain tribe. And uh, there's a lot of information out there which can describe why people tattoo themselves. Here's a little piece of information uh, with a bit of modern design. Take a look. Thankfully, today you don't need to present a severed head at your tattoo parlor to get inked. You also have a wide variety of styles to pick from. Let's go through the most popular ones. We have the traditional style sported by sailors and the early pioneers of tattooing in America, featuring strong lines and motifs like anchors, roses, and beautiful women. Then there are tribal tattoos, which, as the name suggests, are inspired by the tribal markings of indigenous peoples around the world. Traditional Japanese tattoos are intricate and oftentimes pay homage to mythical characters and legends of Japanese folklore. Chicano-style tattoos carry a heavy message, as they originated from incarcerated Hispanic communities in 1940s America, and they served as a way to depict scenes of gang life and the Catholic religious figures the gangs prayed to. And finally, we have the classic realism tattoos, used mainly for portraits of those who their loved ones want to remember. Newer styles like watercolor, neo-traditional, and new school were born and evolved from the previous styles we mentioned. So far, we've learned about ancient tattoo techniques, inks, and modern styles. So let's get into the science behind it all. What makes tattoos permanent? Time for a not-so-express explore explanation. Start the clock. To understand why tattoos last for such a long time, we need to understand tattooing tools. The first electric tattoo machine was patented on December 8, 1891 by Samuel F. O'Reilly. O'Reilly was a tattoo artist, and he realized that the technology used in Thomas Edison's autographic printing pen could be altered to create a machine that introduced the ink to the dermis of his canvases. O'Reilly's tattoo machine used a rotary motor to move the needles up and down in a consistent motion, making it easier for artists to draw on their canvases. 
On August 23, 1904, another type of tattoo machine was patented by another tattoo artist in New York named Charles Wagner. Only his was powered by a coil motor. Needles are attached to a metal bar which is connected to dual electromagnetic coils, which makes needles bounce back and forth by completing and breaking an electromagnetic circuit. These types of machines are the most common ones used nowadays, although not the only ones. In the case of both machines, the needles are loaded with ink, and with every pulse of the machine, inject the dye into your dermis, the layer of the skin just below the epidermis. Your body's initial reaction, of course, is to get rid of the pain and the invading pigment particles that shouldn't be there. Immune system cells rush to the area and start eating up the ink particles. Some of them are broken down in your lymph nodes. However, larger particles that can't be processed by your cells just stay there, suspended in that layer of your skin. Of course, as the ink particles break down, they become easier to absorb by your cells, causing the tattoo to fade a bit as the years go by. But although tattoo practices have been around for thousands of years now, the technology around it continues to evolve. Have you ever heard of sound wave tattoos? Nate Sigurd, co-owner of tattoo tech company Skin Motion, developed an app that would read sound waves from a tattoo already placed on a canvas of skin, making tattoos that essentially speak. Here's how it works. The customer uploads the audio recording they would like to get tattooed into the Skin Motion website, where they can then transform it into a tattooable audio wave. Then, the customer looks for an artist near them trained in inking sound wave tattoos, which they can find in Skin Motion's online directory, and set up an appointment. Once the tattoo is on the canvas, they just have to scan with Skin Motion's app and it plays back the voice of their loved one back to them. Mom, I love you to the moon and back. That, awesome. that thank you. is so sick. Yeah, thank you. Disclaimer, we are not being sponsored by Skin Motion. Still, it's a pretty cool thing that they're doing. Apart from the evolution in its artistry, tattooing has also inspired the medical field. In June of 2019, engineers from the University of Texas at Austin developed a wearable device that measures the biometric data of its users. They're calling it an e-tattoo. The stretchy device is placed over the heart of a patient, where it silently takes electrocardiograph and seismocardiograph readings for days, uninterrupted. Technology like this could potentially help individuals with heart problems detect unhealthy cardiovascular activity and prevent fatal diseases. Throughout history, this ancient practice has both represented separation, violence, and pain, just as it has been used to portray remembrance and honor. Regardless, it's quite fascinating to see a practice this old continue to evolve alongside us humans. What about you? Would you like to get tattooed? Would you like to get tattooed? Did you see how cool those sound? Oh, those sound waves, and then it plays back with your loved one's vocals. Aww. Okay, that, that, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But hey, uh, we'll talk about inking a little bit more when we come back straight off to this. Wanna be a star? For all your music needs, contact Rockstar B Productions South Africa. We offer music production, publishing, artist management, and digital distribution. For further information, contact 084-605-5466. Welcome back, guys. If you just joined us, you are live with us on Atten Bull TV. This is the Cracker Dawn Show with myself, Kimela Hinalal, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details, which you'll find at the bottom right of your screen. All right, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done it already. And please do click on the bell icon. It will then always notify you when we are streaming live. All right, now, some tribal cultures, we were talking about tattoos for those of you who just joined us and you're a little late. Hey, hey. All right, so, so some tribal cultures uh, traditionally created tattoos by, by cutting designs into the skin and uh, also rubbing, rubbing the resulting wood with ink. You also have ashes or other types of agents and um, as well as some cultures continue this practice which may be, well, I, I, well some people do these things for, for, for scarification. 
All right. So some cultures created tattoo marks uh, by hand tapping the ink, as you saw the old lady did a little earlier, and she's still passing on her culture and her ways of life. Um, uh, I think that's quite smart. It's also beautiful that she's got her, well, should I say, her younger ones to to pass on the, these traditions and these way, this way of life because it, she never ever wants the culture to be lost. So that is beautiful. Now some cultures create tattooed marks uh, also by also tapping in the ink as, as you've seen before and the most common method of tapping or should I say the most common method of tattooing in modern times is the electric tattoo machine. I'm sure you guys know this for those of you who are watching at home and do tattoos for a living. You've got the little motor on the side of this pen and you've got the needle that keeps doing this. I'm sure everybody has tried it, everybody has touched it, everyone that I know including myself, I touched it. Um, I wanted to know how that motor works and how it really you know, does the deed. But hey, uh, I still haven't got a tattoo yet, guys. No one's gonna get me to do it just yet. I never said I won't. I said I'll see. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, if you look at it, um, the, these tattoo machines now they, they insert inks into the skin via a single needle, which I've explained before, and um, it's it goes into a bar. Well, I've seen people use an actual pen. I was in high school when this happened, guys. So the unit rapidly and repeatedly drives the needles in and out of the skin, usually 80 to 150 times per second. Now, sounds a bit painful, I know. Um, also, the needles are single-use needles and come packaged individually, and or it's also manufactured by different types of artists. Now, um, you also, it's on demand, if you, if you didn't know. This is quite a big demand around the world. And um, as groupings dictate on a piece, well, per piece base basis. So now, um, in modern tattooing, an artist may use thermal stencil paper or also hectograph uh, ink stencil paper to first place a printed design on the skin before applying a tattoo design. Now, I've noticed people, they actually trace the tattoo and then they place it onto the skin they just tap it and then the the outline goes into the skin before the ink touches you or the needle touches you the the person who's the artist will ask you are you happy now if you are yeah, interested in, in in how tattooing works please do interact with us drop us an email on mail at accidentalfm.co.za and we will connect you to the right people and the professional artists who actually do this for a living all right so talking about your different types of health risks if you didn't know tattoos have a health risk guys um the, okay firstly there's the pain of tattooing <laughs> all right it is painful uh the, the pain of tattooing can range from uncomfortable to excruciating depending on the location of the tattooing of the body now one thing i did learn is that specific parts of your body are more painful than others especially if you're getting a tattoo on the bone it is painful um guys please take it easy with the choices that you make in life as this is permanent <laughs> all right so um the pain can also cause fainting Mm -hmm. This is dangerous. Now, because it requires uh, breaking the, the immu uh, immunologic, uh, immunological sorry, uh, barrier from, from formed by the skin, okay, tattooing carriers also health risks, including infections as well as allergic reactions. Now, I'm quite sensitive. Now, this is one of the reasons why I haven't gotten a tattoo yet, guys. It's not that I'm afraid of pain or, or that I'm indecisive about what I wanted on my body. It's that I'm very sensitive. Now, if, if you take a, a dusty cloth and just graze it against my skin, you'll actually notice I get some kind of rash or I, I get some kind of outbreak. So people do get allergic reactions, especially when it comes to sensitivity of the skin. Now, for those of you who do go and see a, a professional about this, they will have a look at your skin first before going further with anything else. All right. So now, there's also uh, many, many jurisdictions that require the tattooists which have a blood-borne pathogen, which is training. I need you guys to know this. This is training such as provided through the Red Cross and the OSHA. Uh, this is not global, right guys? Now, as of 2009 in the United States, um, there have been no reported cases of HIV contracted from tattooing which is good so it shows that they, they they know what they're doing and they're looking after you guys now this these people have actually shared the knowledge around the globe so even if you go to your local mall here in south africa they have been trained by professionals and they know what they're doing now in an amateur tattooing um such as practicing the prisons <laughs> um you know, there's also an elevated risk of infection there 
and uh, infections that can be well theoretically the well being transmitted by the use of unsterilized tattoo equipment and also contaminated ink includes surface of infections of the skin and you can get fungal infections as well not forgetting some forms of hepatitis herpes surplex virus also hiv guys and also staff um there's also something called tantinus and tuberculosis well as we are educating everybody about tattoos uh, don't go anywhere we'll come back straight after this Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. You are live with us on Attenville TV. This is the Crack It Down Show with myself, Kimena Hidalgo, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details, which you'll find at the bottom right of the screen, right there. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Ramashni, if you're still watching, honey, please share, 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 share this, this, this. Well, this channel, this link with everybody that you know. Uh, we are trying to uplift the community, as I need you guys to get a lot of people uh, create aware of Attenville TV. Uh, well, uh, today's going to be a jam packed show. Uh, not only today, I'm going to not only the Crack It On, there is another show coming up a little bit later. You're going to see it, but yeah, I'm, I'm not going to mention it now. Fail to mention it as we get towards the end of the show. We will. We'll talk about it a bit more. But hey, you know we're all about showcasing talent. Stick around for that. We're going to show you, um, well, always upcoming talent. It's always going to be talent that you've never seen before. And we're all about showcasing and, um, well, uplifting the community and people who are artists and need the exposure. All right. Now, guys, don't forget, if you feel you've got talent and you feel you've got what it takes, please do interact with us. Uh, drop us an email or a WhatsApp. Uh, the contact details will be flying across the, the bottom of the right of your screen every single day throughout every single show. And whoever is sitting at the table at that time will respond to you. Even if it's not me, it's probably the big boss sitting over there. Uh, he'll react and, and respond to you immediately. All right. So today we are talking about tattoos on this beautiful Thursday morning and uh, good morning to you if you just joined the show. Now tattooing, we're talking about different types of tattooing, we're talking about mod the way modern people do it, the way the old people do it, the way ancient times have been doing it. Now tattoo inks have also been described as remarkably non-reactive Histero how do you say this again? Histologically. <laughs> All right. So, however, cases of allergic reactions to tattoos and inks, we're talking about the health risks as well. Okay. So that's where we, we left off. And I want you guys to remember there are health risks when you do something like this. Please be careful where you go and how you do this. Uh, so. Uh, particularly there's certain colors all right there's certain colors which have been uh, medically documented now also remember that this is sometimes due to the presence of the nickel ink well in an ink it's called in an ink pigment now also remember which triggers a common uh, it's it's a metal allergy you get some kind of metal allergy i don't know if you guys have this i'm so sensitive i have i've experienced everything so if i lean on metal my actual base skin on metal i, I get this sudden allergic reaction now imagine if your tattoo starts doing that to you and you can't get rid of it because you have embedded it within your skin quite dangerous i know now if you have already gotten a tattoo and you've, you've experienced this Jump in this conversation, guys. We'd like to hear from you. Interact with us uh, 074-660-5829 or drop us an email on mail at atomlfm.co.za. All right. Now, there's also occasionally when you get a, uh, it's called a blood vessel, which is punctured during the tattooing procedure. Oof, sounds painful, right? Yeah. So, um, uh, there, there's a bruise. They call it a bruise, right? Or a hematoma. Hematoma, all right? Uh, which also may appear. Okay, and then um, at, at the same time, you get a number of tattoo inks which may contain hazardous substances. You also get um, a proposal that has been submitted to the European Chemicals. Um, it's called the European Chemicals Agency. 
and uh, to just well to to restrict the in, well in, intentional use of concentration limit of approximately 4,000 substances which contained into tattoo inks. Now just remember your your gear your your equipment for tattooing may be clean, but the actual ink can also be contaminated. Make sure when you buy your inks, guys, they are sealed and they have been um, tested. Okay, there must be a stamp on there that says it's been well dermatologically tested. Everything is for skin, so uh, this, these are things. These are small things, but they are important and can help you with your skin health. Don't go anywhere. We'll come back straight after this. The rich taste that says you've arrived. We've got her. Living a life of illusion, leaving your finances on the rocks. In this world of Bazotina Band, do you want a bank that takes your money or a bank that takes your money seriously? Welcome back, guys. If you just joined us, you are live with us on Attenville TV. This is the Crack It Down Show with myself, Kimela Hidalal, as your host. If you want to interact with us in studio today, please do so with the contact details, which you'll find at the bottom right of your screen, right there. <laughs> all, right, all right, so as we were talking about, we have talent that we showcase every single show, and it's always with with, with talent that you've never seen before or that are not officially famous. <laughs> We're trying to make them as big as uh, you get your Madonnas and you get your Britney Spears and you get your Rihannas and you get your Manhattans and oh, I could go on all day. All right, so we're all about showcasing talent and uplifting those who cannot help themselves. So today we have a bit of a, uh, a nice mashup actually. Um, you guys know the song Get Lucky by Daft Punk, right? Right? Oh! Let's get this cruise up as they started. All right, so we've got a mashup by A26. I'll get lucky. Check them out.
up all night to get lucky. We up all night to get lucky. Who's given us a get lucky mashup mix? Oh, how was that mix, guys? That was that was brilliant. All right, all right, all right. So if you are watching this for the first time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please share, 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 share. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> all right. Okay, okay. So guys, uh, don't forget that uh, we are about culture as well. So the sh- let me see if I can get this right. Okay. So this is Sri Mariam and Kaliam and Siva Subramaniam Aliam, which is also known as the SMK SSA and popular as the Weinberg Street Temple. Uh, please put it up on the screen, sir. And uh, you, it's the Ari Gargam and it's on the 29th well the flag hosting is on the 29th as well as the 7th and uh, the 7th will be the prayer day which is also known as the main day have a look both days <laughs> right throughout uh, well prayer time uh, guys please do join us at the SMK SSA also known as the Weinberg Street Temple to all Benonians out there and uh, well yeah I hope you guys are there I hope to see you soon alright so guys what's left for today uh, well it is today today is Thursday and today is a show called The Journey with Roy Naidu and uh, myself Kimela Hidal we'll kick it off live at 12 all the way till 1pm please join us today Today as uh, yeah, the, the journey will be, it'll be epic. It's going to be epic. Check out the journey, guys. Woo! <laughs> all right, all right. Roy and I do and myself. Uh, we're going to be going live in uh, well at, at uh, twelve. <laughs> it's going to be fun. <laughs> uh, do join us as we are talking about culture. That show is a spiritual, uh, spiritually uplifting show. It's about culture. It's it's talking about Hinduism as a whole. And uh, Roy Naidu himself is a side devotee as he'll be taking us through the way of life and um, his culture and understanding it and having a better understanding of how it, how it works and what it is about. Now, if you're all about learning um, open-mindedly, learning about different types of cultures, do join Atom World TV as uh, we're going to try and open up the Christian show as well. If you feel you've got what it takes, drop us an email on mail at atomworldfm.co.za. If you missed any of the contact details, you'll find it at the bottom right of your screen. All right, so as you know, let's come to that time where I'm going to have to love and leave you. I know, I know, I was supposed to take you through all the way till 11 o'clock. I know, it's been a bit tough, uh, but hey, we're going to do this again, same time, same place, tomorrow morning. Just join, please don't forget to join us live here on Atomville TV. Like, share, comment at the bottom of the screen. Uh, whatever it, you know uh, just join us every single weekday from Monday to Friday from 10 a.m. in the morning till 11 on the crack of dawn show with myself Kimari Hinwell now guys for those of you who are from around Benoni please do drop us an email tell us that you want to be a part of this broadcasting facility remember we are a non-profit company and I want you guys to know that I am looking for a partner to join me live on Attenville TV. Uh, my last partner, he, he can't make it. Uh, he has been given interviews this entire week. The partner before him has gotten a job, so I'd like to say congratulations to Tyrell Boucher. Uh, he's working at, at, at the gym where he loves being every single day. So he gets to work and work out. How cool is that? You get paid to work out. How cool is that? That is, that is the best job ever. All right. Interact with us in studio today. Talk to us whenever you might need. Just remember, because we are a non-profit company and we're all about uplift, uh, upliftment, guys, we are also here for you to seek help. If you are going through a tough time, domestic violence, woman abuse, all different types of things that you feel you need professional help, we know the professional people that we can connect you with. Drop us an email on mail at atomlfm.zero.za. Our WhatsApp line is also 074-660-5829. You're welcome to keep yourself anonymous and we will get back to you and respond to all of your uh, all of your messages. We are here to help you guys. We are here to uplift and we're here to help you. So just remember guys, whatever you do, whatever you're going through, it's not 
it's not permanent. Everything, everything in life is, is temporary, all right? I mean, the only guarantee we have in life is death, right? So live every moment as if it were your last and um, be happy, always be happy, just like I am. Always have it in your heart that you are okay, you will be fine. And uh, you know, the best is yet to come. From myself, Kimana here, take care of yourselves and each other. Bye-bye.